This film work was done by Robert Groden of New Jersey. The president is on Main Street. The old Dallas County Courthouse is in the background. As the president turns on to Houston Street in an unannounced, unnecessary diversion, the old Dallas County Jail is in the background, and the sheriff's office is on the ground floor just 50 yards from where the president was killed. The red building coming up and in the background is now the Dow Tex building, from which the first shot may have come hitting the president in the back. At the t as the turn is made onto Elm Street, you notice the, three, the motorcyclist which left the motorcade. This may be the officer who opened his radio mic and thus recorded the sounds in Dealey Plaza. The president is now hit in the back, and while he's behind the sign, he's hit in the throat from the front. He's now grasping at his throat and trying to talk to his wife. And the fatal headshot. This is a repeat and a blow up of that headshot. And another repeat. And another. Now here's the president back on Houston Street again, about to make the turn onto Elm Street. And this will be the next film. Notice how the car slowed down, and the driver put the brakes on and was looking back at President Kennedy. Nix also filmed the rifleman at the president's right front. An eyewitness said the rifleman was firing a 30 6 rifle. There will be a light here indicating the rifleman. An arrow indicating the rifleman. This is the rifleman. Now we want to point out that the driver was looking back at President Kennedy. This conflicts with his testimony. He said he never looked back at the president and only glanced at Governor Conley. And this is a serious conflict. Either he was poorly trained or he knew he would be killed in the secondary kill site at Cobb Stadium just a mile and a half down the road. There will be an arrow indicating the driver's head. Watch his head turn around. Either he was poorly trained, or he knew that he and all of the others in the car would be killed at the secondary kill site by automatic fire. Here's the arrow. Watch his head turn around. Now we want to point out that there is not yet any blood on Mrs. Kennedy's glove or the president's collar, indicating the explosive nature of the wound to the president's head. Mrs. Kennedy jumped out on the trunk of the car and picked up a piece of the president's head. She still had this clutched in her hand as she sat in the hallway in Parkland Hospital. Now the Clear as a Pruder film will be played in regular speed, and then it will be repeated at one-fourth speed. In the slowed version, an umbrella, the only umbrella in Dealey Plaza, was held by a man, and it can be seen just to the right of the highway sign. This umbrella may have been a visual signal for most of the gunmen, as the umbrella was only used for six seconds. There were 42 witnesses who told the Warren Commission either directly or by deposition, that there were guns at President Kennedy's right front. At least 15 eyewitnesses never got the chance to tell anyone except independent investigators. One of those witnesses identified the weapon which he heard and then saw. This is some of the evidence which is still shaming and haunting America. <laughs>